I love collaboration and I believe that um, it's more important to bring lots of people together that you're going to get much further ahead in the science by doing that. I was trained in the 60s and during that period was the uh, time that the first protein structures were determined. We had kind of a grassroots effort to somehow archive those molecules somewhere electronically. I guess it was in 1971 that we formed what's called the Protein Data Bank. One of the big challenges in structural biology is something called integrative methods, in which you take data from many different sources and use computational methods to try to figure out uh, what the structure is of very, very large macromolecular machines. The Bridge Institute had a much more ambitious goal than looking at macromolecular machines, which was to look at the whole human body. Let's start with the pancreatic beta cell. And this project, it had all the components of the things that I think are important, which is to get a structural view of biology and to do it in a collaborative way. Pancreatic beta cells are an interesting target because of their role in the pathogenesis of diabetes. Um, I personally have a brother who's affected by type 1 diabetes and he was diagnosed when I was six. So this has always been like a very interesting target for me and I was extremely motivated when I found out that the Pancreatic Beta Cell Consortium was going to be working on creating a spatiotemporal model of the pancreatic beta cell and that I would have an opportunity to play a role in this research. I've gotten to work with a multitude of scientists in different fields and they're all experts in different things. One example would be at the bridge we've gotten to work very closely with cinema students and we started um, a project to basically explain diabetes through different forms of media from the cellular level to the societal level. Basically the work that I'm doing now with Children's Hospital at Los Angeles originated out of that class. So now I kind of have an interdisciplinary team from the cinema school, scientists here, and then doctors at CHLA working to produce forms of media so that kids at CHLA can use them. I don't think that there are any interesting problems left within a single discipline. Uh, really all of the interesting questions are at the intersection of two or more different disciplines. You have to have all of those viewpoints participating in the research process. So the Bridge Institute was really organized around this principle of modeling the entire human body but starting with the individual molecule. The PBC Consortium is a open source, uh, multidisciplinary organization that's all, all of us are working together with a goal of generating whole cell models of the pancreatic beta cell. And the nice thing about the PBC Consortium is it's a collection of a bunch of different experts in many different fields of biology, chemistry, physics, engineering, medicine, and digital arts. I think the thing that, that really grasps my attention most with this project is that none of us knew how to do this on our own. We knew that this wasn't the kind of problem that we could solve individually, and it was really going to take teamwork to work on this problem and solve it. We know that the way that humans engage with information oftentimes is mediated by story. There's this fundamental challenge of how do you get the data to tell a story so that it can inform someone and then hopefully help them eventually lead a better life. In order to do that, you need the molecular scientists, you need the cellular scientists, but I think you also need the human scientists and then the context, and that means social scientists, uh, and creatives, different perspectives, again, different ways of viewing the world and viewing the data. The pace of, of biology and life sciences in general has accelerated incredibly over the past couple of years. In particular, in biophysics and in imaging, we've seen breakthroughs in electron microscopy, electron tomography, mass spec-based proteomics, lipidomics, metabolomics. We believe the right time to tackle whole cell modeling is now. Our goal is to bridge different types of disciplines together. I think where we're unique is we have a strong commitment towards converging not only the sciences, but the arts and the sciences. This is a highly collaborative, open source effort, and we're always looking for new partners that want to participate, that want to join this, this network that we're continuing to build. We welcome collaborations and participation, and feel free to reach out to anybody involved in the, the Beta Cell Consortium or the, or the Bridge Institute.